six. Seven is still a lot better than six, but it is as it is. Let's get over here and take our lands back. Oh ho, Piskov's taking Astrakhan. It's a little unfortunate because I want some of this land, but it seems like the Ottoman uh, seems like Moscow's going to beat me to it. Fortunately, they're also going to beat those Uzbeks black and blue. Just trying to keep my armies together here. Oh, Jake is taking land right from under the Ottomans' nose and wonders why they hate him. I mean, it's obvious why they hate me. It's just, did they, did they have to push it this far? Couldn't they take a joke? Right, let's try and piece things out with uh, Hungary. It's a desperate situation, but i got to do everything I can. Again, it's just Bosnia and Georgia, neither of which I'm particularly interested in here. Gizzy. It's getting cheaper to do Dubrovnik, but it still takes a while, and I can't afford that. Alright, that's one of them back. Let's head over to Manish. Somehow we'll manage. Good job, Peskov on Astrakhan. No siege, but you're taking it down. I want that coring to resume. And I'm quite happy to see the Ottomans piling on in here. Uh, to kill, at least. Their occupations don't really matter to me. The Ottomans cannot take this land, no matter how hard they want it. And they probably want it really hard. I guess the downside for them getting occupations is it's more likely that they will peace out. Hungary's making claims on me. That's awful news. And remember, they still have a laundry list of impressive allies against me. Um, and the fact that I'm draining Muscovy's war enthusiasm with this is very bad news for me. They want all of my Balkan land. I might be seeing a forced migration pretty soon. On Siege Kirkassia for the relation bonus. Not a bad idea, that. And I do want them taken care of soon. Alright, we'll take this as a unit and I'll split up and take these back. I don't think it stacks particularly high, though. Serbia got a god leader, 645. Where are they hiding that? And why are they still guaranteed by the Ottomans? Come on! anyway, Jake. Yeah, I know, but... Yeesh. I'm just getting nothing but suck luck here. Well, actually, no. I've had very good luck. It's just that the situation itself is so incredibly bad. If the autos pull the trigger, are you going to show the world early scorched earth tactics? I don't have enough earth to scorch for it to make a difference there. But the Ottomans seem very keen on fighting other wars, I'm grateful for. Hopefully Ahmed is not such a warmonger. Ahmed's getting on in years, you know. There we go, liberated our provinces. Oh, it's 25 here, I thought it was just 10. I think 10 is winning battles, or maybe defeating rebels. Either way, that's a pretty useful thing to, to get. It's almost enough to begin the integration once this is done. But I need to keep them a bit sweeter. Uh, trust is building up. We've got that going for us at least. <laughs> Could grant them a claim. What would I even grant them? This, I guess. But they're not getting it. Right. I want a unit on Caban. No, I don't think I do. The Ottomans are going to take Caban almost certainly. That's good though, that'll migrate uh, Crimea's capital to one of these provinces which I already have control over. So I'll be able to make a very swift peace with Kazan and then we focus fire on... Well actually we just knock out the others, I'm not interested in Nagai land for me, but I want to make things very sweet for Muscovy so that they get a lot of favours with me. I can increase uh, trust to make it more likely they join the wars on my side, as well as other things. That was faster than expected. 
Nagai accepted peace with the Ottomans. Doesn't tell you what peace once you get late into the game for reasons unknown. Could you peace out Kazan? Yeah, but I want to keep them in there because it's uh, expensive land that I can give to Muscovy and they will like me very much for it. By expensive, I mean it's double cost because they're non co belligerent. Ta da! Wait, what? Crimea is not a co belligerent. So taking provinces is twice as much. Is that some kind of joke? I co belligerated them. 15%. You didn't. I'm quite certain I did. That's why Kazan is in the war. This is 13%. But no, it's, it's a lot more. Well, that ain't right. They were part of a coalition, sure. Hmm, well that's that's a shame, that made this very expensive. I can't do to them what I wanted to do to them, which was carve them up big time. Oh well, yeah, the coalition probably got in the way of that. Maybe reload? No, it's not going to change that. They're already set as non-co-belligerent. Uh-oh, there's a hefty amount of Crimea troops, and then... Oh, well, there we go. We got 100% on Crimea, I can piece them out however I want. Which is going to be difficult. I wouldn't get much of the money, so there's not much point doing that. I'll take the war reps and I should take some land. But if I can't take their capital... Well, I kind of need a coast here. This all blows. Well, it is land. There's no denying that, and I can ex export the rebels to the Ottomans. He still has an army, so he's not too keen on... Uh... Hmm. This is garbage, but it's there are worse things to have. I could also force you to break up military access with Lithuania, alliance with Nagai. The alliance with Nagai is probably good to break away from you. That is so crap a peace deal for me. But war reparations and a couple of provinces are going to have to do. The coalition grows further, but at least Crimea and the guy and Kazan will all be out of it. Oof, that extra cost hurts badly. I'll get their troops out of the war as well. Ah, oh, shoot, I can't core this even, because I don't have the range. Not unless I take this. I'm gonna have to get that just to get the cores. Dang and double dang. It's just all bad. Why has everything got to be so bad? Right, but I have this province, and I need to puff out my cheeks more. And I have the... Hmm. I have what it takes. We'll build up to force limit just so we look as strong as possible. And we'll hope that the Nagais don't uh, ruin our day here. There are still a lot of them, sire. In fact, it feels like there are more than before I pieced out Crimea. Probably because there are. Fight the good fight, Muscovy, because Hungary is going to come down on me like a ton of bricks. We've got Caucasia as sweet as we can get them, and it's still not sweet enough to get them off my back, which is really bad because that truce is gone next year. I could placate them, but then I'd lose all my prestige. I might have to, though. Well, we'll consider that at the end of this war. Muscovy's at medium enthusiasm. Alright, Crimea and Kazan allying is no big deal. Yeah, um, if Muscovy get closer to zero, we're going to have to get rid of them. Those uh, revolts are hurting. 
Novgorod's just trailing around the country. I hope it's not so bad that they wouldn't defend me in a war. Uh, that doesn't tell me anything. Ottomans are probably going to gun me down next, though. It's hard to deny that. And still nobody wants to be my friend. I don't have a friend in you. I mean, Savoy aren't too far off, but as we mentioned before, Savoy are in a bad state right now. I can't even piece you out. Because you still hold the no-gay. And there's some counterinsurgency happening against poor um, Novgorod, uh, Muscovy here. I should probably just white piece the guy as soon as I can, all things considered. Alternatively, I kick Kazan out. But that's where we're getting a lot of our war score from. At least I control Kuma, but otherwise Astrakhan and Juktu are working for us. And we're about to lose Juktu. Chengs can't even get that piece. I mean, I could offer up some of your land, but I certainly wouldn't like it. You need to give Muscovy some land? No, a white piece doesn't hurt if you promise land, bring them in, and that doesn't happen. Muscovite debt, good question. Muscovy have... One loan, so that's okay. Still though, bang, we just lost a lot of uh, war score there. Damn it, Ottomans, you couldn't even finish the job. The guy is left and they're still functional. Against us, no less. Well, keep winning those battles, Muscovy. We'll get that war score, we'll grind them down a bit, and we'll get a piece. I don't know what the piece is going to look like, but we'll get it. I mean, sure, I could go on the offensive here, but come on. Man, these lands are so garbage. And they still border the Ottomans. The plight of Lower Dawn. Screw Lower Dawn. Alright, you should be able to save Kazan. Beat them down a bit more. But if uh, Muscovy ever decide to peace out, I am in a terrible position. So I need peace soon. And you're going to be there in a moment's notice. Apparently the guy's making gains as well. That doesn't bode well for us. Go, Perm. Show them what's for. Yeah, they, they couldn't, but... Surely the other... Yeah, there we go. That, that shows them. Now they're still apparently making gains. And they're working on Astrakhan. We can't really afford to lose Astrakhan here. Not that I'm doing anything in this war. I'm just sitting by watching. Feels like uh, Factorio multiplayer. <laughs> At least Bosnia is doing their part. You might say, Jake, do you really want white piece out of all of this? It's a great way to get some favors with Muscovy. But my counter to that would be I have no use for Muscovite favors right now. They're good to have. I don't doubt that at all. Hang on, did he take care of his rebels? He did. Okay, he's back in the fight. His military strength says otherwise, but he is back in the fight. But I shouldn't wear him down here. This is just making the Ottomans lick their lips looking at Zeta. At this point, wouldn't I be better off just selling Zeta and going elsewhere where the Ottomans don't have... Per no, it's, we're past that. We're long past that. Maybe Hungary would like Dubrovnik and an alliance. No, they want more than just Dubrovnik. They want Hum, Bosnia, and Visk and their territorial demands will not end there. That will not be their final territorial demand. Bosnia, Caucasia, and again, Georgia. Hey, if Caucasia would take it, then I'll give it, because that will keep us a bit uh, smoother. And that gets me a hell of a good queen. Nice queen... Uh, well, consorts are a great thing to have in general. So many good events associated with them. Come on, Astrakhan, you need to hold out. Mamluks are learning about administration, but they've also lost a very important fort to Ramazan of all nations. 
Ah. Oh. I was about to say Ultimates dropped for Amazon, but no, they gained them as a, as a subject, which is even worse. Uh, maybe we should actually do something in this war. Clean up some troops, get some war score, drive up uh, our chances of victory. Gizzy is entering an alliance with Kazan. Damn it, we were considering making good friendship earlier. Kazan, are you still bankrupt? What's the best way to check bankruptcy these days? I don't know, but it's been a while, so probably not. But they are tech 5, and Ubeck are tech 6. A joke to my glorious tech 7. Don't like taking the crossing penalty on that. But that, it's slightly stronger to have you. Oh, well, be like that, then. Uh-oh, Astrakhan's gonna fall. We could score that white piece, or, you know, maybe a ducat to share. Eh, everyone's happy enough with a white piece. I have a feeling that dragging this war on is only gonna hurt me. I got two provinces, and I broke the coalition. Good enough. For now. But only for now. I generated so much aggressive expansion with that. And that's probably gonna bite me in the rear end down the line. Well, it undoubtedly will. Hmm, having to pay double for these provinces hurt badly, but oh well. I'll take this, gives my allies a chance to lick their wounds. There we go. Yeah! Look at all those favors. Try to imagine a way to use them, because I sure can't. Hungary still hate my guts, despite me being rivaled with Venice. Serbia, Pample States, Savoy, Hungary, Genoa, Crimea. It's all just bad news for me. I could score Bavaria, but there's nothing left of Bavaria. Mm. It's so hard to find a friend. It's almost poetically hard. I'll get this so I can start coring up Kazil Yard. It'll speed up my ability to core all this dramatically, hopefully. <sighs> okay. Jake, Annex Kirkassia. Yes. Thankfully, we have great relations like that. And I think, yeah, the consort marriage ties and royal marriage help out there in a big way. It's going to take a lot, and it's going to delay that tech, but let's get going on it. Should be done in a decade or so. Just in time, though, the truce ended. I think they used to gain Liberty Desire or hate you more when you started integrating them, which was weird. That was a long time ago, though. Let's all be grateful. Alright, 999 mil tech. If I further buff Zeta, though, it's just going to make people want it more. Let's get rid of this. It's costing me a fraction of Dosh, but still a fraction too much. I don't have any other land that's so good it makes me go, yes, this is where I shall develop now. All this land is garbage. Was there always coal there? Genoa. I don't know how you manage getting that France and Austrian defense. Well, I know exactly how. I'm just incredibly jealous. Can you forgive me? I still have my claim on the guy. I should get a claim on Crimea so that I'm ready to gun them down. Still don't have what it takes to claim Georgia. I'm a f far cry from uh, subjugating them. Hmm. Jake, do you think this would be straightforward or normal? Maybe not straightforward, but a damn sight easier than this. Maybe I shouldn't have done all that focusing on mill, but oh well. Can't think of anything to do with it other than... Oh well, yeah, we've been severely lacking in good leadership. Wouldn't mind anybody to replace worker worker here. Let's try our luck with... Uh, Shaggy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what am I even left to do here? 
Yeah, four army tradition really delivered. Right, not that I can really do much from where I am, but the Ottomans and Hungary both want me dead. And they're both in a great position to make that happen. And I've just lost one of my diplomats, meaning I'm down to one diplomat. Your alliance with Gizzi could mean that if I wanted to attack you again, I could do it uh, through Gizzi. But Gizzi also has Kazan. You also have Kazan, so there's no real victory for me here. Damn it all to hell. Who are even my targets here? Drill and pray, Jake. Mm, not up for praying just yet. Let's get a claim on uh, Crimea. Well, they hate my guts, but sadly, at best, I could get a Moldavian alliance out of hating them back. Still, being allied to Wallachia would make that a tricky endeavor. Oh, jeez, you allied Muscovy as well? Look at this guy, guaranteed by Poland, allied to Muscovy, allied to Novgorod. Might be in my interest just to annex you, Moldavia, all things considered, but that... Uh, Polish guarantee hurts me in ways that I am sickened by. Dip rep guy for faster annexing? Yeah, for faster plundering my economy as well, but cost too much. You would be good to take, but also cost too much. I could skimp on paying my units, which would save me some dosh. You know, maybe you are worth getting at this point. Um... A lot of people really, really don't like me. Base and same religion. Is that the best I can do? Oh yeah, the overextension is hurting my diplomatic reputation because of all this. Bah humbug. What do QQ think about you? You just attacked their rival. Such pitiful things are not enough to get us a, uh, an alliance not on very hard mode. The only person that wants to be my friend is Georgia, and that is Liability with a capital L. Karaki and Lou would attack them, and I wouldn't be able to stand up against that. I need QQ and Ottomans to be at each other's throats, because otherwise the Ottomans are just going to gun me down, because I'm the softest thing on their borders. Take defensive ideas to use up all your mill. That's not a bad idea. I have a lot of mill, and until we get to tech 9, there's not a lot of use for it. But I don't think defensive will save me. Hell, I'd rather have aristocratic right now, because at least there's a diplomat down the line for it. What does defensive get me? Army tradition and morale? Oh, that's not really what's deciding these battles. Or this anything. I think the autonomy reduction, the manpower, that diplomat, aristocratic ideas are pretty damn good. You're not even fighting battles, exactly, so I'd rather have a mill idea that helps me out on this front. Plus, gets me closer to, you know, legitimacy. Then again, aristocratic ideas have a lot of revolts with them. And I am not in a position to handle revolts, especially if they happened back here. I wouldn't even be able to get back to them. I think what I should do is take religious ideas. Religious ideas have a lot of very positive effects associated with them. Even if I don't advance the ideas. Stability, changing religion in provinces. No! War is coming. There's a rumor spreading that Hungary is preparing to declare war upon us. We must rush to prepare our defenses. The malevolent personality of Matthias I is likely why we learned of this. Hungary are only at Tech 6. I have Tech 7. I don't have allies to help me out here. Well, Georgia could help. Hmm. That bastard Hunyadi. What can I even do? He just wants my land. Hmm. 
Um. There's a way out of this. I just don't know what it is yet. I might have to lose my capital here. But that wouldn't be the end of the world. What could be done is that I give up Zeta. He ends up eating the border with the Ottomans and the uh, permanent claim. And then my two enemies smash each other. And again, that would leave me some very isolated and uh, not very well defended lands. Of course, it could be that he just wants to take all of this, and I just find myself migrated over here. It happens. I'm not going to be ashamed of migration for uh, for this. In fact, I'm going to feel pretty proud for having made my way over here and given myself a second lease at life. Please don't cliff cliffhanger us, Jake. I know this tone of voice. Why would I do that? It's only 9 o'clock. Um, but I'm still trying to think of a way out of this. Could invite Georgia. Perhaps the extra alliance would turn him off. Nobody wants to save me. Nobody's even close to wanting to save me. I mean, Lithuania would probably if they were not a junior partner. That's actually quite funny, that. If Lithuania were actually independent, they would help me out here, but there's no chance of that. Mm. Could you sell the province they have a claim on? That's a good point. They won't have a Cassus Belly if they don't have Conquest. And they only have that on Dubrovnik. Now that wouldn't stop them just coming back and doing it again for another claim they make. And Dubrovnik is a big earner for me, so that would hurt me in a lot of ways. But it could be the only way to save my bacon. I can't actually return the province either. Hmm. Alright, well, first. Hmm. Oh, that is quite useful. Kazan is under attack from Uzbek, and that makes Crimea a sitting duck. Great news. I still need that claim on them, though. Sell it to the Ottomans, Jake. Class act. I don't think the Ottomans would take it, though. They want it, though. Let's see, I need a diplomat free regardless how you cut it. Uh, I'm not sure if we can do that if they... No, it's rivals you can't sell to. Alright, that would work. They also offer more. I'm gonna miss this province. I'm gonna really miss this province. <sighs> Surely they can give me a bit more than that? No, no they can't. We were able to get 130 odd, right? Hundred and thirty one will do. Okay. Hungary lose their Cassus Belly on me. Hungary ain't get a claim on the Ottomans. Hopefully they hate each other. But this is very dangerous. Alright, come at me now, you scumbag. Hey, maybe the AI will uh We'll just go, oh yeah, we're still going to declare that war for Ragusa, like we said we would. That might have just bought me time and made me weaker overall, but damn it, we did what we had to do. Ah, crap. He's on my border right now. It'd be really funny if he declared war anyway and just did a no CB. He's still massing on my border. I must really love the idea of mass. It makes two of us. 
Okay, that's fine out where we're going. 